Good morning friends this is G.V. Shivakumar again and today I like to discuss about uh, uh, say uh, in SAP we have lift and shift uh, method or approach of uh, migration from the non SAP system such as uh, uh, Oracle to uh, uh, SAP systems so SAP system will be whatever say it is an R3 or ECC5, ECC6 or uh, I can say uh, uh, S4 HANA any versions okay say lift and shift in the method say for example uh, say uh, in your pharma company having uh, say uh, some uh, six, ent uh, 6 entities around or 12 entities around Singapore and Malaysia for example so they are operated uh, say in uh, uh, say uh, this six uh, legal or uh, 12 legal entities in pharma companies operated uh, I mean uh, operated in Oracle and uh, say for example uh, the same uh, six to 12 legal entities are also um, say for example operated in SAP I mean I, what I what I'm trying to say is say in uh, some companies actually uh, when they are uh, merging uh, the companies right actually uh, when two companies are merging say one company one company uh, uh, in uh, in say for example Singapore Malaysia will acquire other company small companies or some other company in the same region of uh, Singapore and Malaysia uh, say for example they are operating in uh, say uh, uh, Oracle something or SAP some other uh, thing right actually say for example X company it is operating SAP and it is a big company uh, in <coughs> Singapore Malaysia and one another Y company which is very small uh, compared to uh, the X company so they are also operating across uh, Singapore Malaysia and they are using Oracle. So in that case actually the both the regions, both these two regions, uh, I mean having uh, 12 legal entities are mapped in both the systems. But uh, due to the business, because uh, if it is getting merged right, after the business mergers and everything between the two companies, the client will face lot of confusion. So which company is owning that, which company we need to order uh, all our uh, requirements and everything right so it it is showing two phases before the customers and and one final day actually they will get confusion say uh, say how to interact with the customers how to interact with the vendors and everything then uh, it will give a business confusion uh, to the customers so to uh, optimize the process and streamline and showing us the one single phase uh, and helps the business to uh, optimize that then actually again actually the uh, uh, the two companies uh, need to get measured right say for example uh, whatever legal entities available in the legacy oracle systems in my company uh, they are also having all the entries uh, across the regions right in Singapore and Malaysia so those uh, legal entities that is legal entities in the sense all the companies company code are master data and then actually the organization structures uh, and then transactional data need to be lifted and shifted to the X company say for example um, uh, in uh, in say why company they are having some uh, thousand as a uh, as a loan legal entity so those it, it, it should be shifted there and uh, need to be ma I mean sometimes that same thousand will be created in uh, the X company also so it uh, say for example actually the same structures are available but actually say this Y company's legal entity should be mapped below the X, uh, uh, X company uh, legal entity and then master data need to be transferred uh, 
uh, and then transaction data did need to be transferred to the x company so in that case actually they they, they can use a uh, uh, business objects data systems right the bots uh, for uh, migration or they can uh, bots will have direct upload facility or sometimes actually they they should they have actually lsmw functionality to uh, i mean actually the data extraction should be from uh, bots and data upload right actually that will be uh, created using uh, i can say um, lsmw so you need to prepare a uh, flat files or excel files to get uploaded to the lsmw and also sometimes actually they can use uh, if it is a, uh, S4ANA, they can use LTMC, right? So, uh, this kind of uh, um, operations can be possible. So, the Y company's legal entities should be mapped under the X company in organization structures, and then all the accounts and everything will get transferred there, and then actually the master data should also be mapped, and then transactional data also to be migrated to lift and shift method say for example say um, if it is transactional data what are the uh, uh, I mean transactional data to be migrated right? if you are seeing that say uh, the open POs normally actually they won't uh, uh, shift it to the uh, migrate right actually they will close whatever POs in the Y company and the pending line items in the PO will be created as a new PO in the X company, uh, below the X company. And uh, say whatever uh, GRs, open GRs available in the Y company should be migrated to the uh, to the X company and create as a, uh, I can say actually the uh, new delivery kind of thing. And open I invoices should be migrated. Uh, and to the uh, I can say uh, the X company and open sales orders should be migrated and open deliveries open uh, ca customer invoices uh, in this space and in the WM actually we need to migrate the stock available stock in the Y company should be migrated to the X company and uh, say um, I can say then actually in FI we have uh, uh, different GLs, if, uh, if I, that is, uh, if, uh, 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 I mean, accounts receivables, accounts for, for uh, I mean, like, uh, accounts, uh, um, that is actually uh, AP, AR, all these things, right? And then actually, uh, and then we have the the pro the, the terminology of uh, costing object, GL grouping code, costing grouping code, all these things actually. Then uh, down payments, everything, right? Whatever available in the FI should be migrated to the uh, X company. So these are the important thing actually. We need to migrate uh, to the. Uh, um, uh, X company. So this is a kind of shift and shift method. This is done through uh, bots and LSMW migration or uh, bots and LTMC migration or sometimes directly through the bots, right? So uh, the Y company uh, IT team has to extract the scope is with them. They need to extract all the data and then uh, the, this Y company, X company will receive that and they can upload in the system. So now don't confuse X and Y company in the sense now uh, Y become Y is under the X company. Okay, that is important. Then actually uh, say uh, I can say um, master data in the sense normally this uh, a material master client level that is basic data one basic data two, should be uh, I can say uh, migrated through uh, MDG systems. Normally, say for example, in master data governance, right? Say we have master data uh, MDGM for master data, MDGF for finance, MDGS for vendors. Likewise, they segregated all these technologies and 
they uh, they are migrating uh, right actually the client data should be migrated by the mdg and all the material master views or vendor master views actually say for example in material master purchasing uh, accounting warehouse management costing uh, mrp1 work uh, workbench kind of uh, work scheduling kind of thing so those will be migrated right by uh, the uh, respective say id team or uh, some person uh, or sometimes actually this vendor will give a uh, outsourcing to the id uh, company who is uh, acting as a vendor right for that uh, uh, partner for the company pharma company so uh, this uh, guys actually the functional or uh, data migration team will upload all the views using the i can say um lsmw all these things right ldmc and everything so this is how actually they are uh, doing this sir uh, mom metal master vendor master uh, purchase info record source list and then uh, i already said some companies will do open pos uh, all these things uh, say open gr open invoices open stock balances everything should be migrated to the x company in sg also they have master data and fi wm everything actually we have master data and while doing this uh, wm stock upload we need to create a new bins in the uh, x company x company code and then actually you need to upload the stock first you need to do inventory upload first you need to create the bins and then do inventory uh, uh, stock upload and once inventory stock upload is that wm stock upload should be done okay these are the pre request site actually uh, you need to do and uh, then after doing that actually uh, i mean you need to uh, check say for example actually uh, you need to do uh, uh, unit testing uh, and then actually system integration testing and then actually the uh, getting the user Uh, acceptance testing regression and validation testing and then actually if all these things are okay then only you can move to production after getting a uh, user I mean sign off from the user you can uh, transport all the changes to the production this is how the uh, the normally the project is working right so this is about this is about the lift and shift method because actually you are just taking all this data lifting from this particular y company to and shifting to the uh, x company this is the approach so that uh, once you merge uh, the two entities right actually it become one single place for the uh, customer so that actually he can uh, they can easily do business with uh, your company and you can also uh, well establish the functional and technical and uh, financial operations very efficiently so i think actually you, uh, this video is very useful for you how the uh, in sap projects lift and shift methods are working lift and shift method is nothing but wherever existing in the uh, org entities or legal entities in the y company should be ma just ma mapped to the x company and all the details should be all the details uh, i can say a master data and transactional data should be uh, just placed in the x company open open orders and everything master data should be mapped all this thing and if required minimal comment there should be a minimal configuration required right let's right? so say if any new item categories or new document uh, document type all these things we need to compare the business process between these two uh, co- companies say hey, if any new purchase purchase order they are following new sales order they are following new delivery type they are following new shipping type they are following all these things actually uh, they uh, they need to uh, i mean actually they need to map so based on the why company's process actually we need to create uh, either we need to decide whether we need any new Uh, document types item category schedule line categories all this thing then output types say po for output types and everything smart forms and then uh, output determination output types everything right so for grpo all these things 
and for whatever uh, printing forms everything right that should be uh, decided based on the comparison of two systems and based on that actually your scope of configuration also uh, will depend on the particular uh, uh, scenario so i hope actually the details I have given is very useful thanks friends